Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the Zoho CRM Web2 Leads form and do the customization based on that form. Zoho CRM can help us to automatically generate Web2 Leads form section, so we can copy and paste it to our web page. Let me show you how to uh, get that form. Click set up web to lead form. I already created one. Let me show you. You put name and a written URL and I select any kind of field you want to show on your web page. These are some extra settings. And save. Here is the generated code. You can copy and paste to the uh, to your notepad and add some extra uh, HTML tag such as uh, and uh, header and uh, body. Uh, let me show you I just created. Here is I just created so this uh, this from this div to the to here is I copy and paste it here. Let me open that page. Okay, here we go. So this is the basic form. This form is very easy to create, but have some uh, issues. Uh, for example, there is no validation. Um, what if we need a company name and a last name as a required field? What if a customer entered a tax in email box which is not a valid email address format at all? Also, uh, what if we want to make the form looking and feel similar to your current web page, the color, uh, 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 the font size? To resolve those uh, issues, we did add some basic JavaScript functions and uh, do some extra works on the form style. This is the example. As you can see, uh, all the fields are required, only the condition is not required. So if a customer click, uh, need to ask customer to you know, input those uh, uh, values. Another one is sell the car. The customer needed to imp input the, their uh, personal uh, some information and uh, the car information. If they didn't put anything, they click submit. It will ask you to you to input the required field value, and also they can upload uh, the image, and uh, the image link will will be saved in the whole CIM lead. This is another one. Also, some fields are required uh, before they submit this form. The main reason to do that is to prevent from saving the leads with incorrect information to your uh, CRM. That kind of leads we can also call them as a junk lead. That's all. Thank you very much.